Imagine being the one person everyone trusts more than a computer. That was Katherine Johnson. Born in 1918 in a tiny West Virginia town, I fell in love with numbers before I could even vote. By 14, I'd finished high school. At 18, I graduated college, top of my class. And when West Virginia finally let black students into graduate school, I was one of the first. I didn't just want to be smart, I wanted to make history. In 1953, I joined NACA, what you now call NASA. Back then, women like me were called human computers. My job? Crunch numbers powerful enough to send rockets into space. When Alan Shepard became the first American in space, I double-checked the math. When John Glenn was set to orbit Earth, he said, Get Catherine to check the numbers. My calculations weren't just backup. They were the mission's lifeline. But my proudest work, Apollo 11. Imagine, two spacecraft orbiting the moon at over 3,500 kilometers an hour, needing to dock perfectly so astronauts could come home. I calculated those paths by hand, using only a pencil and my brain. No fancy computers, just relentless focus and a belief that math could take us anywhere. I started with Earth as a perfect sphere, solved the two-body problem, then made it real by adding Earth's flattening and gravity quirks. Every correction, every calculation had to be perfect. Lives depended on it. After 33 years, I retired with 26 technical reports published, a Presidential Medal of Freedom, and a NASA building in my name. But it's not about the awards. It's about opening doors. So every girl, especially black girls, knows she belongs at the front of the class, in the lab, or calculating a path to the stars. You don't have to be a genius. You just have to be determined. I proved math can change the world. Now it's your turn. I am Katherine Johnson. If my story inspired you, like this video, share it with the world, and subscribe to discover more untold legends. Tell me, is the future written in the stars or in the minds that reach them?